From the very beginning, a startup should um, insert the voice of the patient in the research process. How? By securing that the patient journey is well defined and from the eyes of the patient. So by patient journey, we do not understand patient journey from literature. We want to understand the real unmet needs of the patient, their pain points, their challenges and their gaps. So by securing them at the very beginning, this is going to help them very much during the life cycle management of the product. So they play a very active role. Patients can help you from the very beginning of the research process to understand what is the real patient journey and therefore you can cover their needs, their pains, their challenges, but they also play a role at the time of regulatory because patients are seated at the board of the FDA or the EMA. Also at the time for price and for reimbursement, patients have a, a voice because the health technology agencies, they ask patients about their needs and their quality of life and how those products can cover their real needs. And at the time of commercialization, for sure, by covering the real needs of, for adherence to the drug or to the medtech device, patients are going to play an active role. The startups are going to get a lot of benefits from involving patients. At the time of research, because they can avoid uh, highly dropout rates, they can avoid adherence or lack of adherence to protocols, recent missions of those protocols which are very costly, reasonable and very good endpoints of the trials because they have been checked with patients. At the time of the regulatory or the price and reimbursement, for sure they are going to benefit because by working with patients, they will get a better understanding of those patients at the time of regulatory and market access.